Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is all about Oxygen OS 9.0 with Android 9.0 for our OnePlus 5 and OnePlus 5T. It's no longer in beta, it's officially available now, so you can go straight from a stable 5.1.7, the latest available version for our OnePlus 5, all the way to Android 9.0 directly without having any issues. I'm gonna walk you through the process of doing the update from a stable ROM, but I'll also go through some of the scenarios if you're running any kind of custom ROM, Magis, Root, all of the different things. Just make sure you watch the entire video and you guys should be set. This is TK, let's check it out. I'm gonna walk you through the process here on the OnePlus 5, although you can run pretty much the exact same steps on the OnePlus 5T. The features that are coming in here are a little bit different. The full screen gestures are not coming yet onto our display here for the OnePlus 5. The OnePlus 5T will have that. But as far as the update, if you're going from stable ROM, all you have to do is go into your settings, scroll all the way down the system update and then hit check update. In theory, you, this OTA should be pushed to you guys and you should be able to install it and run it. Now you notice for me, it's not showing up and that's because it's being rolled up in stages and that's generally however, every manufacturer's releases an update, they always roll it out in stages. So what we're gonna do today is I'm actually gonna go through and do the manual update and I'll give you guys a link to that in the description. The main requirement, you do need to be running 5.1.7, the latest version of Oxygen OS running obviously Android 8.1 here, 8.1.0 uh, on our OnePlus 5. And of course, make sure you're running that, there's no issues there. Also, make sure you back up your data. Once you have that done, and if you're not rooted, if you are rooted, make sure you uninstall Magisk by doing, using the uninstaller, and make sure you uninstall every single module you had installed. Don't just ignore them because you removed Magisk. The modules are installed and they, some of them do not actually are not compatible with Android 9. So make sure you uninstall the modules, remove Magisk, and of course, just go through the process. For me, I'm gonna go through here. I'll go to the gear on the top right and say local update. Um, if I was going into the beta, that would have been the file I'm having at the top. And of course, now that we're a full version, we're gonna install it from here. I'm gonna select it. It's gonna give me a little bit of a window. So just as a heads up, if I was trying to go into the beta now, it's gonna tell me that I'm trying to revert to an older version of my current device. We don't want to do that. You want to make sure to use the one that says underscore 42. And here it says basically it's not going to affect my data, but they do recommend us basically to back up our data just in case something happens. And we're going to definitely restart our device and update. So I'm going to say update now. Well, upgrade now. And here we have the update. It took approximately five minutes. Uh, there was pretty much no issues for me. Um, I did reset my device. So for me, it was pretty much a clean slate going in for 5.1.7 all the way into nine. Um, but again, keep in mind, if you're running any kind of custom things, uh, either Magisk, Root, or whatever, remove those things and make sure you remove the pin on your device and you're pretty much set. And of course you can flash it through twerk or you can flash it directly within the stock process. As I showed you, you pretty much go into the settings tab, you scroll down to system update and then we'll find it right there, system update the little gear and of course local update. Now I don't need to install it anymore. It's already installed on my device. We can go into, well, we'll go back one more about device and you'll notice even the new theme options here with the new categorization. You know, OnePlus 5, again, running Android 9.0 with Oxygen OS 9.0. Looking over the settings section, uh, we have the new organization. So we have Wi-Fi and Ethernet, Bluetooth device connection, as well as display. We'll go into display. We have, of course, adaptive brightness, sleep, night mode, reading mode, screen calibration. Of course, by default, it's in there, sRGB, DCI, P3, adaptive mode, as well as custom. We'll just leave it as default for now. But if you definitely want sRGB, it's in there. Ambient display is in there. We do not have an always on display. So just keep that in mind. As you lift up the device, it'll turn on and give you your notifications. Uh, wallpapers and of course theme, we can go between colorful, light or dark. I like to keep it dark and you can switch over directly right there. I'll give it a second. Uh, the colorful pretty much has the accent colors and you can customize those. And of course here, even with this, I'm gonna customize it and go into the darker blue. I'll give it a second. And we should be able to have black with the customizations with the blue here. And you can change that to your liking. You can go in there and put it in whatever you want. Um, we'll give it a second to finish. In here, we have a uh, notification. So the LED notification, we can have a blanket for new information. If there's new you know, notifications, font, font size, display, status bar, of course, screensaver and on. Uh, we have app and print notifications, of course. We have sound, uh, buttons and gestures. This is one thing that I noticed that they said is that the full screen gestures was not coming in to this device. It was only coming into the 5T. So the 5T on will get full screen gestures. So um, alert slider, that's pretty much still functional. Let's go ahead and use it here. Oops, I think I, I locked the screen. Let's go in here. So you'll notice right there, you can go total vibration only or all sound next. 
and then got it. And of course, buttons is what we have normally here. We have the backlit button, swap buttons, and an on-screen navigation buttons. I can turn those on and it'll take over here, but it does remove them. Um, otherwise, you can actually swap the functionality. Recents is on the right and the back is here. Otherwise, this one is, it works as a home. Uh, we have long press actions. We can customize those, of course. Uh, quick gestures, that's again, these are the things that we've seen before. So flip to mute, three finger screenshot, answer calls with gesture, uh, double tap to wake, music control, and so on. But we don't have full screen gestures. It's not the problem. Uh, I would say though, if you're missing full screen gestures, definitely check out the XDA gestures application. I'll give you guys a link to that. I've done a couple of videos there and we can definitely have gesture navigation functionalities on your OnePlus 5 without any problem. Sounds pretty much standard. Uh, you can go in there, customize your sound options, uh, buttons and gestures, we already covered that. Battery, again, 3300 milliamp battery doesn't really change much, uh, but the theme itself overall with a darker theme and the optimizations of Android Pie, I'm expecting to have a much better battery life. Storage, you're gonna start off with about almost 14 gigs used out of the 128. So that's how much the system will use. And then you can start installing your applications on top of that. Uh, security and lock screen, pretty standard. Find my device, protect Google Play, security update, of course, screen lock, fingerprint, as well as face unlock, all present here location, password, uh, device admin, encryption, as well as screen pinning if you'd like to turn that on. Um, under utilities, we have a few other things. We have gaming mode, parallel apps, of course, having multiple versions of the same app. App locker is installed, schedule on and off, pocket mode, and of course, OnePlus Switch to be able to transfer your data from your old device to your new device. Um, accounts pretty much the same. Uh, Google system is where we were, where we were able to update our device. So we have reset. If you want to turn on the OTG, by default, it is off. So OTG support is here, but you do need to turn that on date and time, experience improvement, recent app management, of course, uh, multi-user and system app. Of course, we're back at the about phone. Uh, the camera app, pretty much standard. Let's go ahead and swipe it up. Uh, we have video, photo, let's go into video. We'll swipe up and we'll go into settings. Uh, manual HDR control, smile options, everything is in there. And let's go back here. So we have 1080p, 1080p at 60 frames per second and then 4K at 30 frames per second. Uh, let's switch over to the front camera. And as far as the front facing camera, we have either 1080p or 720p with the front facing sensor. And of course we have Google Lens integration here if you'd like to be able to use it. So we'll go back. Uh, photo, portrait, of course, we can swipe up. We have pro mode, uh, slow motion mode, of course. And let me double check here. Slow motion is, yeah, pretty much capped at 720p. And then of course we have panorama and of course time lapse and of course portrait mode if you're trying to go there. The process for updating is very simple. As I explained to you guys, um, you just want to make sure you're running stock version of your, not only your recovery, but also of your ROM up to 5.1.7 on your OnePlus 5 or OnePlus 5T. And you can use the file that I'll have you link for you guys in the description below over at XTA. Again, this is the official OTA file. This is not a modified file. So you're not installing root, you're not doing anything like that. And you don't even have to unlock your bootloader to install this, as these are, again, official files from OnePlus. Otherwise, your recovery wouldn't even recognize them to install. Just keep that in mind. Um, and then, of course, give it about five minutes and you're set. Uh, back up your data just in case something goes wrong, you know, your pictures, your documents, and so on. And in case you have to do a reset on that. Other than that, I think you're pretty much set. If you're running a custom ROM or a custom, uh, basically, Magisk or something like that on a stock ROM with a stock with a custom recovery, uh, it's pretty simple. You can use uh, Twerp to install this. It's not that hard. Um, you just definitely want to make sure, A, remove any pins or any kind of face unlock options that you have on your device, remove Magisk by using the uninstaller, and uninstall all the modules before removing Magisk. So there's no modifications sitting there and basically you're gonna be going from standard, almost stock 5.1.7 over to Android 9 using Twerp to be able to dirty flash that over. Um, if you're running a custom ROM and you're already on Android Pie, you're ahead of the game and I'm pretty sure you're not gonna be worried too much about the official release. But if you want to, you can definitely flash that over and I'm pretty sure you guys are savvy enough to take care of that. Uh, let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think about this update? I'm really excited that the OnePlus 5 and OnePlus 5T received the full update after a very short beta period, which tells you the software was pretty much ready to go almost about two weeks ago. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support, and I'll see you guys in the next video.